Folks, I've had a number of people ask me about how do you get uh, to FTP with Dreamweaver CC, maybe CS6, CS5, really doesn't matter. It's the same for all of these. Now, I am using Dreamweaver CC. And, you know, I, I've got a fairly popular video that shows how to edit with Dreamweaver CC if you have an existing site. This may, and, and, and I've been thinking it'd be good to do some tutorials for my clients that uh, I've built sites for to show them how to get started with Dreamweaver CC. Um, so I'm going to kind of do a little bit of a, of a startup, um, very rudimentary set of lessons for people who are just getting started with Dreamweaver CC. So I'm going to jump right into it. The uh, reason I say this might be a bad example is because I do already have a site. I almost wish I had a, a site here that had absolutely nothing in it that you could see. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete a file there. It doesn't have to be there. But let me, let me just give you the basics of how you start FTP. And, and so let's, first of all, it's going to start with a site, right? So I'm going to pull over a, a screen here. And the first thing you can see here is I've built a folder called Tony Lee Glenn website. And I have various other sites that I do too. Let's put a new folder in here. I'm going to say new folder. Now, why am I doing this? Well, you got to have a place to start from when it starts asking for, you know, where are you going to put your site, where what's going to be your testing site and all this. And you just have to have a folder somewhere. It can be called anything. I'm going to call it my this one, uh, Tony... Lee Glenn 2 website. It could be called anything, folks. It could be called My Pretty Pony. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it, it, this has nothing to do with the web or what the web's going to This is just where your site's going to be. So step one is just put a folder that you're, where your site's going to reside on your hard drive somewhere. I have this internal storage drive. So that's for this, for purposes of just playing around here. That's what we're going to do. So I have that. And I know it's on my internal storage drive, Tony Legally in to website. Now the thing I'm going to do, I'm going to say site. You're going to, you could get Dreamweaver open here since I've already opened Dreamweaver and you can see my sites open up here, but just imagine it's not, imagine there's absolutely nothing there. And we're going to go to site and we're going to go to new site. And then we're going to name a site and we're going to call this Tony Lee, G-L-E, and N. We'll call this demo site. Okay. And uh, local site folder. And this is where it's asking, what, where, where are you going to put your site? And that's where we just made that folder a while ago. So go to wherever you put that folder. And I know I put it in here. Um, Tony Lee Glenn 2 website. And I'm going to pull it up here and say select folder. Okay, so now it's going to put everything inside that folder that we make. And then, of course, what will happen? We develop the site inside here, then we upload it to over here somewhere on this remote server. See remote server up here? Okay, so now we're going to go over here to the little servers button. And it's, all this is going to do is going to tell you where your server is, right? So this is just saying where we're going to work on our hard drive and what we're going to call it. And once again, this could be called anything. The internet is not going to see this name at all. This is just whatever you want to call your site so you can remember what it's called. It means absolutely nothing. We could call it anything. So I'm going to go to servers. Now is where we start to get specific to what the web needs. I clicked on servers here, and there's a little plus button down here. We're going to add a new server. Unnamed server. Once again, the web doesn't care what we call this. It's just whatever we want to call it. I'm going to call it Tony Lee Glenn 2 website. I could call it Tony Lee Glenn, test website, whatever. But now is where you get to some specific things. Whoever you do your hosting with, I, I do DreamHost is who I like to use, and but it could be Fat Cow, it could be Good Grief Bluehost. There are all kinds of different people. It could be Charter, it could be GoDaddy, whatever. They will give you what your FTP address is. If you've bought now, I'm not talking about a domain. The domain is the name. Like, I bought TonyLeeGlenn.com. That's a domain. Uh, that is, uh, you know, the name that the Internet will, when they, that, that people type in the URL to go pull my website down. 
the FTP address goes to a place where you are hosting a site. And so what the hosting account is, is that's where the folders and everything are that contain your site on the web. In other words, just like we had over there a minute ago, I pulled the, the folder over and I said where it's going to reside on my hard drive. The hosting is where all those files reside on the web. Usually it's a separate charge. You register your domain for like $9.95 or something for a year. It's cheap. Then you get hosting set up. Usually it's about $120 a year, depending on what your service is. Ten bucks a month is a pretty decent price. And so DreamHost is who I use. Well, I know that my FTP address is TonyLeeGillianN.com. Now, this might be, depending on what your service is, requires it might be ftp.tonyleeglen.com i'm going to leave that there and see i can't remember what it seems like mine is without the ftp but very often it's ftp sometimes it's www.tonyleeglen.com just depends on whatever their uh, server is set up to do right okay so i'm going to go to my username and i'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'll mask this later and then my password is let's hopefully i remember this Okay, and my root directory, usually the root directory is just a forward slash. And they'll tell you if it's different. You're, you're the people who provide your hosting. They'll tell you if the root directory will be forward slash web pages, forward slash something else. Uh, usually it's forward slash and it's something else or it's just forward slash. Sometimes it's forward slash something like web pages, then forward slash again. They will provide this for you. This is all you need to know really is this, what your FTP address is. What your username is, you, you've usually set your password ahead of time, but they'll give you a password or you'll have one. And then you, what your root directory is. Port 21 is almost always what this is. Almost everybody uses port 21, so you usually leave that alone. So this is all there is to it. And I'm going to hit test, and let's see if it'll connect. Dreamweaver connected to your web server successfully. So really, connecting to the web with Dreamweaver is basically just about knowing what this, 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 and these these four things right here. You just ask people, whoever's doing, providing your hosting, hey, what's my FTP address? What's my username? What's my password? If you haven't already just, just established this yourself. And what's my root directory? If you can ask them those four things, then usually you're A-OK. -okay. So I'm going to say save. And then, you know, once I, that's what I've done. I've saved this little FTP. This is all my little FTP stuff here. And I'm going to say save again, and this saves everything. It saves where I set up my site, and it saves up my servers. You usually don't mess with this stuff here. I'm going to say save. So now, what do I have? Well, uh, it, it's, it's showing nothing up here, and this is what you would see <laughs> if, if you've got a brand new uh, site, and, you, and you, you probably will see nothing in here. I've not connected those. See this right here? That's connect to remote server. This little thing here it looks like a little socket trying to plug into a plug-in. It's like an extension cord or something. If I click on that, we will see that I've got a lot of stuff in there because I build a lot of sites. So here are various sites and stuff and people I do sites for. And um, I know that this one right here is really where my, my main site is. Uh, I'm sorry, it's TonyLeeGlenn.com old. Do I have a I guess I guess this is my root directory. Oh, no, here, TonyLeeGlenn.com. So look at this. See, I actually have, now, now this is something you won't see probably. And, and, you know, the one thing that's cool about DreamHost, I'll say this, is that you can you can usually put unlimited domains on here. So you can see I own a domain called TonyLeeGlenn.com, one called VG Video. It's for Valley Graphics and Video Production. It's my, one of my businesses. I actually host First Baptist Morganton or a, a test site for them here. Here's my old website with a bunch of stupid crap in it. Here's my old, this is where I, I, did, I test these sites here sometimes. That's why you see these folders. Skyland Picks is where I do some of my um, uh, photos and stuff. So I'm not going to go too deep into that. Uh, these are people that I've, I've worked with, and some of them are just me and various versions of my stuff. But pretty sure this is the folder that I need to be in. And I think that's where I'm going to be going anyway. Now, this is a bad example, too, because my site is a WordPress site right now. If I do this, uh, you can see where I've got some HTML stuff. And you can see all these WPs. That's because I'm using WordPress and PHP. Now, I can still use Dreamweaver with a PHP server. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. You, just look up WordPress, and, and you'll see WordPress is a great way. It's called a content management system. 
honestly, it's not my. I still rather do my sites with um, HTML with Dreamweaver. I still would rather build everything in Dreamweaver. It's just I'm a very busy on the go guy, and I just do a lot of blogging. So this site is really more of a blog site than anything. But let's say I wanted to start my site. Now this is the remote server up here, right? This is what you're seeing. Click this little down arrow, and you'll see your local view. And you'll see your look here, no big surprise, I just made this folder, there's absolutely nothing in it, right? So since I already have an index page, uh, it, what we would, how you would normally start your site, you go up here under File, and you'd be on your local view, right? You do File, and you say New, and you go to HTML. Now, Dreamweaver has some templates and things that you can pick. I, you know, since we're going to do a little bit of a startup, on how to use Dreamweaver, we're going to do this the old-fashioned way and just build this site straight up. And so probably what I'm going to do, since I'm up to about 11 minutes of talking right now, is I'll do this in the next uh, video. So this one was just about how to FTP and get ready to do your site. Next video, where we'll get ready to start in just a minute, is how to create your homepage.